Hello everybody and welcome back to more of our player guide series. My name is Zen and I'm going to be walking you through another one of our intermediate guides, but this time we're delving into the world of, of interfaces. And just like in yesterday's episode where we talked about hotkeys and how to bind hotkeys efficiently and all of that fun stuff, which actually turns out uh, that it, it went over very well with you guys and you guys really enjoyed that. But just like yesterday's episode, we're going to be doing it live, right? Because doing an interface and building an interface from scrap is is probably not something I can make sense of and post uh, with editing. It's just, it would be me trying to fumble around with a ton of footage of me making an interface and none of it would make sense at all. So instead, we are going to just actually make one, which obviously would be a lot better. But we need to talk about a few things here first. So the first thing is a few concepts that we have with interfaces in general. Uh, the first is where you're looking, right? So I mean, your interface is going to draw your eye. It's going to be the spot that you're getting a lot of information from. So naturally, it's going to be the place that you're going to be looking the most, right? So if you look on my interface, this is how I play. This this was actually, you can go back and watch like the first videos of the Smuggler series. And as you go through that series, you'll see my interface adapt and slowly change over time. And that's because I came up with an idea for an interface and then I just, I just went with it. And trust me, I'm not like a gooey interface designer. This is not what I do for a living. I mean, I make videos. It's not, it's not nearly the same at all. So you can't, you know, take me as a professional at this but this is something that I came up with over a very long period of time so back in my wow days I actually played with the default interface I know some of you want to crucify me because of that I it was it was just what I used and I had plenty of people who suggested other ones for me but I just didn't want to use it once I get into Star Wars, I use the default fit interface. I mean, it, it launched with a default interface, didn't have any options uh, other than minor things to tweak, and it wasn't until a little bit after the game being out that they added this crazy interface editor that I'll show you here. Like, this is just a mess, right? It's, this is a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't until a while after the game actually launched that they added it, so... With this specifically, my interface developed and I, I learned to have something that works really well for me as a, as a competitive raider, right? This could work well for you as a, as a healer, as a DPS, as a tank. It could, it could work well for just about everybody, my interface. However, I need to walk you through why I have my interface set up the way it is and then maybe you'll be able to come up with something that's a lot better for you, you know, because mine is just built around certain concepts. And and as I was saying before I went on that long tangent, the, the concepts are your screen space where you're looking the most, you know, where, where the information you're getting from the game is being, you know, fed to you. That's, that's your screen space. Now, a lot of interfaces, especially, let's go to the default one, actually. This is probably the best. Do, do, do. Let's retro default. Let's go to default load. Ugh. Ugh. I know. I just, I want to poke my own eyes out. This thing is, it's not bad. It's just really big and kind of messy. There's a lot of stuff here that's giving you information. So where, where are all, all the, actually, you know what? Let's go to extended bars because that'll probably be a little bit better for my, because it, it'll give me more examples here. So where's all of the, oh crap. Where's all of the information on the screen? Well, you have down here, your main hotbars, right? This is where a lot of your information is going to come from, uh, at, at least on this interface. And then what's the next thing? Well, then you have have this. You have this hotbar over here. Is there anything over here that I actually need on this hotbar? No. I mean, there's my buff and my jack-o'-lantern, but that's about it. Then you have this cast bar right in the center of your screen. Uh, what, what's what's Mako doing? Can I have? Can I tell Mako to heal me? Yeah, where's her, her cast bar is like up over here. So this is my target, you know, this is me. Uh, and then you have all of this stuff over here. S you know, these bars aren't set up efficiently because of the fact that I just kind of loaded in a random interface. But then you have all of my cooldowns and stuff over here. So how many places am I looking? Well, we've got one chat chat window, right? If I need to, you know, see if someone's calling something out because I'm in like a pug group or, you know, we're playing Galactic Starfighter, which I had been doing on the PTS recently. And they're like, hey, people are going over to B or something like that, right? So 
that would be you know one of the things that you're looking at over here then you have information over here so that's two places then we have uh three over here four five and that's pretty much about it right so that's how they've set that up just five places i'm looking on my screen potentially six you know with with mako if i really need to control her which i usually don't now let's go over to do, do, do this other one which is i think it's retro yeah yeah okay so now let's look at this one this is just kind of hodgepodge over here but we have uh we have one so one spot of information two and three and then potentially four so potentially four spots that we're looking at that's not bad that's a little better that's better than six right well where are my eyes being diverted on mine let's look mine up so we have one right we have two and potentially three now if we turn off the chat which you know let's say let's say we're not going to use the chat because 99 percent of you in uh, like an ops group that's that's made won't be using the chat so that's not going to be a place you're going to be looking anyways so you could minus one from all of that but minimap is you know potentially one and then this is also one. So I have two spots that I'm potentially looking at any given time. I actually don't really need to look at Mako, so you can minus that one on the other ones as well. But what this allows me to do is that it gives me a focused interface. And what I mean by this is most of my information is focused. I only need to look at one region of my screen, which is here, right? If I if I could box, I would, but it's just gonna drag my screen. So I'll, I'll add it in, in editing. This is this is my region I'm looking at, right? This this area here. If I'm zoomed all the way out like I normally am, rating, you know, maybe Mako's my my boss that I'm tanking. Uh, she was moving around like one, that's for sure. That's really annoying to position. Uh, this this is all one screen space. I sit far enough back. I have a fairly large monitor, but I sit far enough back that I'm able to see just this one screen space. So I'm, I'm looking at one spot and my peripheral takes care of the rest. If I ever need to look up at my minimap, which there are some occasions that I do as a tank, I need to look up at my minimap, like where the heck are things coming from? It does help to look. Then that's two spots. So I have two potential spots that I'm looking at on my screen region, which means I'm focused more on the main screen region than I am on, say, the default interface, because all of my information I need is already here. My eyes have acclimated to my interface enough that I know exactly what I'm looking at by not even looking at it. So say I'm focusing on the face of my bounty hunter, right? But say I want to, I don't know, let's let's click on Mako. No, let's not click on Mako. Let's, let's actually start channeling this. I can see by looking at my face, focusing on where my face was, right where my cursor is, I can see out of the peripheral vision that where my cast bar is. So say I wanted to flamethrower, I know how long my cast bar is. Now my face is probably not something that I'm gonna be looking at all that much on my character, probably more than likely my feet. You know, you don't wanna stand in, in really bad circles of things. See, this is a bad circle. I know this is a bad circle, so I can move out of it. And you know what? I can also see my cast bar down here, so I know how long I need to wait before, say, the circle goes away, and then I can move back in, right? So uh, most of my screen region that I'm looking at is right here. This is the goal. This is the goal with building an interface, is to make it so you're looking at a whole lot less things. Uh, so your your eyes aren't having to wander across your screen because then you get, you get lost on your screen, which is kind of annoying. We've all been there before. And then you don't get the information that you need in order to be effective. So let's make an interface. How about that? Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Uh, this is, it's either gonna go really well or terrible. So let's start with the default. Oh, I know, I know, it's pretty bad. It is, it is pretty bad in comparison. So let's keep this on other because, you know, there's, oh gosh, I just, I just balls that up. <laughs> nope. Interface editor, uh, default load. Good. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay. So what can we do here to possibly make this? See, I have two regions that I'm potentially looking at. Let's not count in the, ca the chat window. Let's see if we can make it one, right? That's a goal. So let's go into the interface editor and let's just walk through this. First thing, my scale is very large. It is taking up a lot of my screen space. If I'm zoomed all the way out, 
I have like right here that I'm looking at. This, all of this information is not a lot of information. This is one bar and it's taking up all this space. I don't need it to take up this space. As you saw on my other interface, it's it's not taking up all that space. I mean, it's taking up just about as much as this, but it's you know a hundred times the information. So let's let's make this a bit more efficient by pulling the scale down to what? Let's let's go with probably 0.6 will help. Uh, that'll that'll work best on. Uh, let's bring that up one more. How about that? Let's go 0.7. There we go. That'll that'll work well for actually recording, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But suddenly you see the difference, right? What was what was it at before? We had it like way up here, somewhere up here. It was like at one, and then I moved it down to 0.7. Look how much more screen stuff I can already see. I could see so much more of the the landscape i could see so much more of the actual game and less of the interface you don't want your interface blocking what you're seeing here's the common mistake i see people doing they have like all of this information up over here uh hell let's even let's even move over here for good and this is just you know this is going to look bad but let's be honest a lot of people do this what are you doing with your interface if you have it set like you can't even see your character you need to be able to see the feet of your character okay maybe that's exaggerating a bit that might, might be exaggerating let's let's actually do it like most people do there we go save boom this is this is what a lot of people's interfaces look like it's just all this information right here focused on your feet of your character that's not a bad thing that you have information focused on the feet of your character but it's just not set up right so let's let's clean this up let's go back to the i keep saving these as zen key key numbers but it's just not gonna let's just load the default again and put it back to seven now that I'm done screwing around with that. So let's 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 move some things around down here. We have a lot of space to work with on my screen uh, as far as my screen space is concerned. And we're going to remove some things that we don't need. That's the first thing we're going to do. What do we not need on my interface? Well, we probably need the cartel market thing just in case we want to click on that. That's optional, but I'm going to I'm going to keep it because I like it. So I'm going to move this towards my center of my screen for now. Menu bar. I don't need that. You know why? Because I know all of the hotkeys to open all these things up, like the guild tabs, tabs, the the you know talent trees, stuff like that. So we're we're going to disable this, right? Anything disabled, I'm just going to throw up over in this corner. That way, I can grab it uh, suddenly. Uh, group target frame three. So this is like the target of target. I'm pretty sure what this is, and that is automatically disabled. I I actually kind of like that, but we're we're going to remove it because it's already disabled. And we don't necessarily need it. We're going to focus on one group frame, and that is the operations frame, right? So we're going to disable these, right? And we're going to move these out of the way, too. So I'm just going to have like a giant pile of red up over here. What's this? Quick bar three. We, we want quick bars, companion quick bar. We'll keep it enabled, but I'm going to change where that's at. So we'll move these towards the center because we're going to keep those. We're going to keep these companion cast bars, companion uh, social notifications. Those are actually fairly important to see if your friends are coming online. I know it's kind of stupid if you're like, well, I don't have any friends. But you know what? Get some. It's it's important for your livelihood. Okay, phase indicator I'm going to keep uh, simply because, say, you're leveling up with somebody you want to know if you're in their phase or your phase. It's actually kind of a nice little tool. Uh, so we'll keep that. Uh, focus target, we want to keep focus target and their cast bar. What else do we have? Target of target, we're going to keep target of target, so we're going to enable that so I don't see that it's red. And target of target cast bar, we will enable that because those are useful things to have. Uh, large tooltips, basically what large tooltip is, if it'll actually work properly. Um, I don't want to attach it to the minimap, thank you. Uh, we want the minimap, but the large tooltip is like when you when you scroll over something, it tells you what it is, right? So quick bar six, we want, right? Quick bar five, we'll we'll take it, sure, whatever. We'll do something with it. And quick bar four, we'll do something with it. And I know this is, I'm just kind of dragging things over. Achievement tracker, do we need it? Have we been like tracking a lot of achievements? Probably not. Let's Let's turn this off and let's assume that if we have achievements to take, then we'll, you know, we could turn it on at any given time. Arena scorecard. Let's assume that you guys are going to do PvP. So I'll keep that on. 
game download. We actually don't need this because we have our game downloaded already. So we're going to disable and bring this up over into my little pile of red. Quick part two, we are going to keep. So we move that in. What's this? That's the holocom. That is actually when you get a holocom when you're leveling or anything like that. It'll, it'll, it'll this is where it'll pop up. So we'll, we'll keep this uh, player cast bar. We need that. Tutorials. We could disable this and move this up over here. Combat state. We actually want this. We want our health bars. We want the target frame. We want the target cast bar, and we want our main quick bar, experience bars. Uh, let's say for the sake of continuity. I'm not, you know, I don't need experience because I'm level 55 and my legacy's maxed out. So maxed out rather, not maxed out. Wow, it's macking out over here. That's weird. So we'll, we'll just disable all of this and we'll actually move this up over here. So we're going to say that we don't need a experience bar because we're level 55. Cool. So what does that give us? It actually gives us quite a bit of things to work with. Um, we have a lot of a lot of quick bars. We have a mini map. We have cast bars and other stuff. So let's move some, some of the stuff kind of up and out of my way so I can start crafting an interface. So let's say, for example, I want to start building things around a mini map. So let's, as we said at the beginning, I want to keep my eyes in one spot rather than two. So let's, let's try to build an interface around this. So we have a mini map. Let's, let's keep this in the center. Right, a lot, I've seen a lot of inter interfaces over the years with the minimap in the center. Do we want to flip it vertically? What is that going to do? No, that's not going to give us any extra stuff. So then what can we do? Well, we could probably move in our... I mean, we want to know our party frame and our target frame, right? These are important things to note simply because you want to know how much health you have or how much health you don't have, you know, how much how much health you're about to lose. That's, that's information that you probably should know, right? So we'll keep these, uh, let's do, 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 let's kind of center it. The hard thing is, is centering it. I know I, I like my, my interface, I, I actually measured out my monitor. I'm not even kidding with a, with a tape measure and I measured it all out and I, I cause I'm OCD, let's be honest. And I got it all looking good and centered. So I think that's about right. No, I think it's, I think it's slightly more do do like this. Okay, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Same with this one. And I think that's just about center. So then let's move my holocom in the middle. Uh, how about like right there? And heck, let's put my combat state right here. Just dead center. And what does this give me? Well, this gives me kind of like a frame to work with. So I have all this space down here that I can use on either sides of these. So let's 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 think about that. Let's actually do that. And we'll set up the operations frames as if we're a healer just because. So main quick bar, right? Obviously, this is probably the most important quick bar. Uh, let us not show the background because you actually don't need that. And let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so this is with the background on. So this you, this little thing right here, if we go back to my interface editor, click on this and we disable the background and then we look at it suddenly the background's not there anymore it looks a lot better and we're going to do the same thing for this one show background save okay so main main quick bar well obviously that's a little too long to just throw in there like that so we are going to do something uh like this so you have slots per row and number of slots we want number of slots maxed out because we want to use all 12 but slots per row you know what we can bring this down to two such as this right this will work well and we could put that up just up against the bottom of our health frame just so it actually looks good you know what i mean uh quick bar two let's do kind of the same thing what was this one set up with set up with six so we'll move this down to six there we go we'll bring it down over here and we will pop this sucker like right, I'm trying to line it up with the other one, like like that. It's pretty good, ish. It's a little further out, like that, because it's got that stupid arrow thing that I I don't know how to get rid of. I don't think you can. So you know, let's 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 give it give it a look. Does that look lined up? Yeah, that's actually that's actually pretty close. 
back to interface editor. It's a, uh, you know, a little, there we go. Cool. So let's get a couple of other quick bars down here. Let's say quick bar four, right? Uh, obviously my abilities would be set up differently on these or do we have three? Oh, we haven't done three yet. Let's do three. So, you know, don't, don't take it as, you know, as, as like gospel that the, the abilities are set up perfectly on these because they're not, they're not by any means. But but it does is it gives us an idea of what our quick bars will look like. Uh, and then we can set up our abilities better later on. So that was supposed to be six. There we go. We'll move this one down over here. And it does kind of overlap a bit like that, right? Yeah, okay, we'll save that. So let's say we have almost all of our quick bars. We still have, we still have two more to deal with here. So let's scale this down. Probably because I mean these are kind of let's let's say we'll put like our mounts and stuff on these kind of quick bars or in this case I have legacy abilities and we'll do slots per row we'll move that to two and we'll just slide this in right there same thing with this one what was the scale on that 0.75 one more down and then we'll bring this down to two and like that nice cool. So this gives us quite a bit to work with here. So now we have target cast bar. Um, I, you know, it's funny is I actually like my cast bars underneath their frames because otherwise you just have this weird space, right? Is the scale the same on that? No. So we'll move this one down to one. And there we go. So that'll do its cast bar there. And then this one here, I just want to butt it up right against the actual frame itself. Nice. Large tooltips. Well, we don't really need these all that much, so we'll we'll stick these kind of by default down here. Target of target. We could put these up, say, where I have mine, because I think that's a pretty good spot. Because that way you can see this is your target, this is your target of target, right? So your target what what your target is targeting. Now we have this cartel market button. We could I don't know. What do we want to do with our chat? Let's let's bring everything down. How about that? We'll just bring everything down. Um, social notifications, we'll bring those down. Let's save. Let's close this. Let's actually bring... Uh, no, dang it. I did that again. I just want to bring this whole thing down. I know this is kind of a, a small chat window. But, you know, I would obviously scale that to my preference for reading, right? Uh, interface editor. Going back to it. Let's move our companion bar down here because it's kind of alf over out of the way. Move it to cast bar, possibly right there. Uh, mission tracker, we could, you know, let's just throw that all the way up in the corner. Throw the arena scorecard up over there. Let's say we want our focus target, I don't know, here. And I'll show you how that, that actually looks in a second. We'll throw the cartel market thing. Uh, hell, I don't know. I don't want to accidentally open it up, so you don't want it there. So I'll just put it down by by Mako, have a little a little thing there. And her companion quick bar we will bring to this. Actually, put that down to six. And we'll bring it like that. And I'll show you what all of that looks like in a second. Phase indicator, I said this was probably a pretty cool thing to have, but we don't really have a place for it, right? So we're just gonna disable it. And if we really needed it, we could throw it in there. Focus target cast bar, let's actually put that on the bottom. I'll show you what I mean by that and why I would want it there when we're actually going through this. And the last thing we have is operations frames. So I'm actually going to put my operations frames right here and my scale for it. I'm not going to be able to get into a group, but, you know, we would show health text and heck even on this one. Uh, show information text, show effects on bottom. No, that would be on top. Do, do, do. Show information text save so we we just developed a pretty simple interface using the ideas that i i came up with which is that you want uh your screen space to be very limited in the places you're looking so very quickly without making it look good i would want to make it look good so that way it's it's at the best it could be later on. It's not just kind of this like giant wall of abilities here. I would actually break these up and possibly 
Uh, I would, I'll actually I'll show you what I would do to make this look better. I'd probably pull these two bars down a little bit. And what this does is it gives you a break. So you can kind of see like this is this bar, this is this bar. It gives you an idea of the different bars you're looking at. But then you have now you have one screen region you're looking at. Granted, the screen region has a lot of crap on it, let's be honest, but it, it is one screen region. Now, this interface, like I said, we threw it together. This is what we came up with. If I if I cast something, let's say I cast my flamethrower, then it would do that right there, so you see that cast bar there. Uh, likewise, let's say I had Mako targeted, then you see the target of target. What if I set her as a focus target? Then you see that there, right? So now let's let's target her again. And let's have her cast this, right? Then you see the, the the cast bar there. You see the cast bar down here. So there's a lot of lot of stuff. This is what the uh, her her thing would look like, her little uh, bar, I guess, companion bar. But this gives you a pretty good idea of what an interface could look like very easily. So if you wanted to develop an interface, you could do something like this. Once again, I, as I said before, this feels like there's a lot of information down here, so you could break it up by, you know, splitting the bars like I did uh, there. You, you know, you can move this bar a little bit over, maybe move the health bars out a bit or in, uh, just kind of experiment with where they're all at. Can we remove my focus target? Come on. No, just, just, fine, dismiss her. Get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then bring her back out. I'm back. But here's the thing. Let's go back to mine. So we'll load this one up, and this one is available to download to in the description of this video. What, what did what did we really change between mine and that one, right? Well, really, we just moved the the uh, the mini map down to the center, and I have these useless bars up here. If if I need to use these abilities, it's because I'm out soloing and I'm not doing anything crazy, right? So I'm I'm gonna you know pop my my legacy abilities or my macro binoculars, you know, stupid things like that. That's at the top of my my bar because I don't I don't need that stuff. That's why my experience bars that are empty are up there. So all the information I actually do need is down here. So you could you could even go back to this interface and trim it down a bit. You know, uh, what was it five? Yeah. So you could trim this down. You know, you probably don't need these exterior two bars. So let's get rid of these. Let's disable them. Right, most people are able to function just fine on four bars and not have any issues whatsoever. I mean, oh gosh, you don't have any places to put all of your mounts. Deal with it. You know, it's not not it's not a big deal. So, we already have taken away the experience bar. So what does that do? That limits that amount of information pretty significantly. That was a pretty big difference there, right? But let's go back to the one that I use. It's now now it is just kind of a different shaped version of that and the reason i have mine flattened the way it is is because that gives me more space on the screen that i can actually see what's going on which is important when you're doing rating and you you need to be able to see like there's a lot of bad stuff on the ground or something's coming up behind me that i need to take so i'm gonna flip around and grab that but hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of the process i go through with developing an interface you guys could come up with something super crazy, I'm sure. Maybe all your bars are at the top of your screen or focused around your character. Like I said, I don't really like, you know, at the beginning. But you come up with something that's going to work. What, what's going to keep your eyes focused in an area? Uh, an area that's going to, to I guess, focus your, your gaze so that way you're not having to look all over your screen, like up in this corner, up in this corner, down in this corner, down over here, and constantly having to do that because that's that's going to slow down your gameplay. It really will. And the last note that I wanted to make is when people have like a ton of crap in the middle of their screen, and we'll go back to, I think it was three, no, two. Gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Let's just go back to retro. Just load this in. Or, uh... Not that one. Dang it. Let's load, load uh, four. Four? There we go. So when, when people have things like this in the middle of their screen, which I see a lot of people doing, it's unfortunate because this frame is taking up your screen space. I can't see what's behind this very well. Like if Mako is... She's not going to comply, is she? Look, I can't see her butt, okay? Let's be honest. I can't see her butt through the, the party frame. But what if that is something a lot more important? What if it, that's a debuff on the ground that I can't see? And because my interface is covering it up, I'm going to run through it. You know, that's not good. You don't want your interface all up around your character. Keep it 
keep it so you're only looking at one screen space, as I was saying earlier. But that's another super long video for a concept that you could pretty easily grasp just when, you know, the first couple minutes of me developing an interface here for you guys. Like I said, my interface will be available to download in the description of this video for free. Just take it, do what you want with it. I don't care. I'm not copywriting my interface. All that I ask is if, if someone, you know, asks where you got it, you just refer them to the channel. That's, that's all I want is because, you know, I... This is my interface. I worked hard to get this sucker the way it is. But you don't have to pay for it, which is a plus, right? Uh, you know, at least with, with real money. But your dignity, you'll have to pay that. But on that note, if you guys have any questions on interface development, I'm probably not the person to ask, but I will uh, answer all of your questions in the description. Or not the description, but the comments. And I'm way stupidly tired, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you.